The kidneys are considered our most important organs of excretion. They eliminate a couple of different things, water being the most important, but also nitrogenous waste. What was the nitrogenous waste, the nitrogen waste? Urea, very good. Urea, water, electrolytes, and various toxins and drugs. So the urinary system very simply includes these structures, the kidneys. The kidneys are responsible for forming urine from the blood. They basically filter the blood and create the urine. The ureters carry the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. The bladder is just a temporary storage area for the urine. And the urethra is the tube that carries the urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. All right, so we're going to start with the kidneys. They're in the posterior aspect of the abdomen in the flank area. They're outside of the peritoneum, so we call them retroperitoneal. They're behind the peritoneal membrane. They're protected by the ribs, renal fascia, and adipose tissue. Adipose tissue, are, you already know, is what? Fat. There's a thick pad of fat that surrounds the kidneys to help protect them. So very simply, two kidneys, two ureters, one bladder, one urethra. Urethra and ureter look very similar. Be careful you don't confuse the two. Two very different structures. The kidney has three distinct regions. It's got a cortex and a medulla and also something called the renal pelvis. And the renal pelvis is basically the open area in the middle. The cortex is the outer region and the medulla is the deeper uh, inner region. So this opening in the middle here, this is called the renal pelvis. And basically it's a funnel shape and that's the opening to the end of the ureter, the proximal ureter right here. These things in here, those are called the renal pyramids, they're triangle shaped, they make up the medulla. Anywhere from eight to 18 of these little triangle shapes in your kidneys. And this outer portion out here is the cortex. Blood supply. Blood supply is important in the kidneys and the blood supply comes from the renal artery which comes right off the aorta. About 25% of our entire cardiac output goes to the kidneys. So the kidneys are very sensitive to changes in blood pressure. If the blood pressure goes down, then the kidneys don't have as much blood to filter. If they don't have as much blood to filter, then they don't have as much to make urine with. So one of the first things that happens when our blood pressure goes down is we make less urine. So what do the kidneys do? They do quite a lot. They excrete that urea that nitrogen waste. They also secrete uric acid, ammonia, and creatinine. Creatinine is a byproduct of muscle breakdown. It's one of the end results of muscle breakdown. The kidneys are hugely important in regulating blood volume because they determine how much water leaves the body. So if they let go of a lot of water, our blood volume goes down. Right? Does that make sense? If they hold on to a lot of water, they reabsorb a lot of water, then our blood volume is going to go up. If our blood volume goes up, what happens to our blood pressure? Up. If the kidneys get rid of water, then our blood volume is going down and our blood pressure will go down. Right? Did you ever hear of anybody taking um, blood pressure pills that make them urinate a lot? They're water pills. They're getting rid of excess volume in the hopes that their blood pressure will come down. The kidneys can also regulate the electrolyte content of the blood. The kidneys can say, nope, we need more sodium. I'm going to reabsorb more sodium. They can say, oh, we got to get rid of some calcium. I'm going to get rid of some calcium. They can say, oh, we need more chloride. Hold on to chloride. So they can regulate the electrolyte content of the blood. Okay, so not only the water volume, but how many electrolytes are coming and going. The kidneys play a major role in the regulation of acid-base balance. Again, they control how many hydrogen ions leave in the urine or get held on to in the blood. So if we hold on to hydrogen ions, we're holding on to acids, we're going to make the blood more acidic. If we let go of all those hydrogen ions, we're losing hydrogen ions, then the blood's going to become more alkaline. All right, they play a role in the regulation of blood pressure. How do the kidneys regulate blood pressure? I just told it to you. If they hold on to water, it's going to increase the blood pressure. If they excrete the water, it's going to lower the blood pressure. And the kidneys also play a role in the regulation of red blood cell production. Anybody remember how? The kidneys get the message that the oxygen level is low because there's fewer red blood cells. The red blood cell concentration is low, so the oxygen level is low. The juxtaglomerular nephrons get the message 
in the kidneys that the oxygen level is low. So they secrete a substance called erythropoietin. They secrete that. It goes to the bone marrow, tells the bone marrow to increase their blood cell production. It will continue to increase its blood cell production until the oxygen levels rise again, and then the kidneys shut off negative feedback.